G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. Uh, what I'm going to be having a look at in this video is I'm going to be looking at a video that I made about a year and a half ago. I'm going to be following up just some things with that. Uh, where what we were doing is we were looking at how to multiply two two digit numbers together uh, and get really, really fast results, okay? And look, there's a hopefully you guys were pretty good with this, but there's been a bunch of comments where people have been actually asking either how this works or, or they've been getting in these sort of discussions, okay? So I thought I'd make a video to do with this. Also, also at the end, I'm going to just explain where a couple of people are getting in little errors with this as well. Okay, so first off, this is the way, the type of question we were doing. We were doing this sort of one, um, and I've chosen a fairly simple one, 15 times 28. Okay, now, what I'm going to do before I start on this, I actually just want to quickly jot down the way that you previously might do this. So I'll do this over here. Um, now, 15 times 28. 15 times 28. And the way that you usually do this is, you're probably used to, is you're used to probably going 5 times 8 is 40. Okay, so I'm just going to write this down here. So we've got the 5 times 8 part, and that equals 40. Okay, usually you carry this across, but I'm not going to do this this time. I'm going to write out all our little parts here, okay? Then the next part we do is 5 eighths of 40 would go to this part over here, which is uh, 1 times 8, okay? And that 1 times 8 part there, usually we'd carry the 4 across here, but we're not doing that this time, is 8, okay? But this is not 1 times 8, this is actually 10 times 8, okay? So we're going to get the answer of 80. Okay, because 15, the actual 1 part here is not a uh, 1, it's a, it's a 10. Okay, so that's that part there. The next thing we have is we have, we usually we draw a little 0 do down here. Now the way that, well, the reason we do that is because this is, now we're multiplying this part by 20, okay? So the first ones we've multiplied by 8, the next parts we're multiplying by 20. So 20 times 5 is 100, so this is a... 20 times 5 part. We usually we see that as 2 times 5, but we put the 0 there. And then what we also do is we go with this. This is 10 times 20, okay? Which is 200. Okay, so 10 times 20. Or 20 times 10. And then what we'd usually do is we'd add all these together. Okay? 0, 0, 0, uh, 0. Uh, 4 plus 8 is 12, carry the 1, 1 plus uh, 1 is 2, plus 2 is 4, the answer is 420. Now, there's a reason I've gone through that big, arduous, long process, and the reason for that is this. Mainly to try and explain that what we generally do when we're doing this method I'm about to do, we do actually cover all these little multiplications. We're not getting away with not doing any of them. We're not getting away with, uh, you know, doing a shortcut in terms of the amount of calculations. It just is, they're faster calculations to do. Okay? So, I'll give you an example. Uh, uh, so, I'll have a look at this. Usually what we do with this one, first off, is we'd go 1 times 2. Again, this is not 1 times 2, though, is it? It's 10 times 20. So, usually we're, when we do it this method, we're doing this one first. So, we put a 2 down there. We're going to leave, usually, I'll just put it in there really, really whatever. We leave a space. And there's also this bit here which I'd say, you know, where we're going to put the units. So do realise we're putting down 200, I just haven't put down the extra zeros there. Okay, so we've done the 10 times 2. The next part we'd do is this units part, this 5 times 8, which is 40. Okay, 5 times 8, I'll put a little tick there. 5 times 8 is 40. Okay, so I'm going to put the 4 in there right now. The next part we do is where we multiply this number by this number, the 1 times 8 and the 2 times 5. But it's not actually that at all. It's actually 10 times 8 and 5 times 20. Okay, but we're seeing this, we're, we're taking a bit of a shortcut here and because this is the tens part, we're going to be putting the answer in the tens part. So 5 times 2 is 10, 1 times 8 is 80, and 1 times 8 is 8, sorry. So there's those two parts. Okay, 8 plus 10 is 18. So I'm going to add it on to here. So 18, which is actually 180 I'm adding on here, is going to... Okay, so if I can put this 18 above here, we're going to get the answer of 420. Okay, and this is the way this works. We're not... We still actually have to do every part of the multiplication. It's just that this way works a whole lot faster. This method over here works faster. 
Now, just a couple of things that, so th that's the explanation of why it works. Now, just one other thing that you might think of with this is people also occasionally like to, to put this in a different fashion, which I'll, um, it sounds like an old guy, with a like, different fashion. They like to write it like this, okay? I've seen this in the commentary a fair bit too, where people have it written like this, okay? But they use letters. I'm not going to use letters, I'm going to use these actual particular things. So 15 is 10 plus 5, uh, 28 is 20 plus 8. And the way that we get our answers is as follows. We're doing the same sorts of things. We're starting out, we're going 10 times 20 is 200. Okay, so we're putting down the 2 there, we're leaving a space of space because it's 200. We've done that part there. The next part we're doing is the 5 times 8, which is 40. We're putting that in there. And the same thing as we're going 20 times 5 and 10 times 8, we're getting 180, we're adding that on, and we're getting 420. Okay? So we're making sure we multiply all these things out. This way just doesn't bother with all these little uh, harder looking parts down here. Not that they are harder, they're exactly the same. Okay. Now, just a couple of things that people seem to... And, and, Thank you for any comments to do with that. Uh, it's been really good that, that people have got on there and, and put comments and that sort of deal and, and tried to explain it because, because you know, it really helps everybody out, I think. Now, just one little thing. A few people are getting stuck on various ones and the reason for this generally, which I see, is it's to do with carrying. I'll give you an example with this and I'm gonna go a bit of a funnier one now. I'll go a bit of a one okay let's go something like say 73 times uh, 24 okay so let's start out with this seven twos are 14 okay so we put the 14 down we put a space okay because the 14 as you might realize is actually 70 times 20 which is 1400 so I know there's another space here we're going to fill that in with our units in a second which is this one three fours, which are 12. So I'm going to put the two here. I might even put the one up here for the minute because I'm going to see how we go with this one. I, I don't know, I haven't actually done this question yet, so we'll see how we go. Uh, seven fours are 28. 28 plus three times two, which is six, is 34. So plus one is 35. So we're going to put the five there. Now we have to carry this three across, okay? Because this, by the way, is 70 times 4. Okay, I'm going to write that down. 70 times 4, which is 280. And 3, three times 20. Okay, so 20 times 3, which is 60. And this is actually... Um, and we're going to add a 10 into this as well, because that's that part we've carried over here. So what we're getting is we actually have... 350. Do realise I'm not putting 35 in here, I'm putting 350. But I only have one space in here, so I have to carry this part across to the hundreds. Okay, so the five's in there. Uh, this is zero, so it's not going to actually matter. And the three over here is going to four plus three is seven. So the answer is 1,752. So if you're getting in mistakes with these, Try to make sure that you are carrying things across as you should be, okay? And thanks to people who have answered other people's questions regarding this. I've tried to get on the odd time myself, but I must say, you know, I also get a lot of busy with other things as well. So thanks to people for doing that. Anyway, I'm going to put a link up to that previous video. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time.